French farmers dump soil and rubbish in front of a local government building in Brittany. Part of nationwide protests on Thursday, now in their second week, demanding the government protect them from cheap imports, rising costs and red tape, posing the first great challenge for new Prime Minister Gabriel Attal. Jean-Jacques Pescarel is a local union leader in Rennes, Brittany. Because we always have more rules to follow. We are always asked for more and we earn less and less. We are not living from our work anymore. Today, we want the authorities to understand that agriculture is important, that food sovereignty is in danger, that we cannot ask farmers to produce quality. I would even say super quality food, but import products that do not match French standards at all. It's no longer bearable. It's not. As Atal convened senior ministers, with the aim of announcing concrete proposals on Friday, farmers blocked major roads across France, which is the European Union's biggest agricultural producer. On Thursday, protesters edged closer to Paris, with tractors leading a go slow in rush hour near Versailles. Some farming unions have threatened to blockade the capital. Philippe Chalmin, an economist at Paris Dauphine University, says the government can't solve everything. Well, the situation is not so different with other European countries, and that's where it's pretty difficult for the government to answer, because uh, 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 it's not anymore the case that the government can make prices. And uh, even more, prices don't depend on uh, industry or retailers because we have European and eventually world prices. So uh, uh, those uh, small farmers, uh, small farming uh, enterprises and so on, have to uh, uh, live with uh, the instability and even the volatility of world agricultural prices. On top of their other concerns, farmers, especially in the dairy sector, fear they'll be on the sharp end of efforts to lower food prices, as the government tries to cut inflation. And French retailers are locked in annual price negotiations with suppliers, which the government wants concluded by the end of the month. Fearing a spillover from farmer unrest in Germany, Poland and Romania, the French government has already postponed a draft farming law, meant to help more people become farmers saying it will beef up the measures and ease some regulations. Thank you. 
French farmers dump soil and rubbish in front of a local government building in Brittany. Part of nationwide protests on Thursday, now in their second week, demanding the government protect them from cheap imports, rising costs and red tape, posing the first great challenge for new Prime Minister Gabriel Attal. Thank you. 